What's going on? Welcome back to another introvert super crew cast crew <laughs> stream and it's Tauntaun. I'm here back in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm going to be doing a couple of things. Okay. I am back with um, the Sanrio Amiibo cards, of course, and I am still working on getting Chelsea to move into my town. So we have to invite her one more time to the campsite and um, then she'll go ahead and talk to somebody, uh, resident services about moving somebody out. And um, I already have a plan in my head on who's going to be the first to go. <laughs> um, so let's see how this goes. But the other thing that I'm trying to do, let's see what Isabel has to say first. Yep. It's kind of late for me. I wanted to start streaming a little bit earlier. I woke up a little bit late, like about, I know it's not really late, about nine something. That's late for me because usually on Sunday mornings, we kind of wake up early in the morning and um, start recording the, um, the podcast. All right. She's not saying anything important. Hold on. Yep. Yep. You're prattling on. So, um... We go ahead and get that done. So I got that done. And then now I'm like, all right, let's get to streaming. But the other thing I'm trying to do is catch a shiny Snivy in Pokemon Go. I actually have, so I'm going to be multitasking here. I've caught one, two, three. I thought I caught four. Yeah, I have four so far. So that's my list. If you could see it, I have my three stars starred. Um, and then I have my four shinies. So I'm going to kind of be multitasking there, see if I catch any more shinies while we're on here. Uh, kind of do the quick catch just for the regular ones, um, but I'm probably not going to be focusing on that right now, just kind of checking them. Yeah, we'll see, because I'll probably get so caught up in Animal Crossing that this is going to be on the back burner, especially since it goes on until 5 o'clock. So, all right. Yesterday was the second day that we invited Chelsea to the campsite. And I ordered some stuff. Oh, look, I'm twinsies. I'm twinsies with my character. Let's see if you can see. Finally, I, I'm wearing this. Hood. I wear this hoodie like all the time. It's my around the house hoodie. So let's see. Oh, no. Yesterday was the last day to get the cherry blossom petals. I could have actually stayed on last night getting more of them, and I didn't. Uh, that's all right. Kabuki sent me something. I know I might be grumpy from time to time, but I'm really rooting hard for you, kiddo. Why? What happened? How's life treating you these days? I'm kind of reading it half and half, right? Just seemed like a good time to write you a note to check in. Oh, oh you're so sweet, Kabuki. But you know, it's so weird. I, I have to look at the controller for the buttons when I don't have to do that on the Joy-Cons. Oh, I got a rating A. Nice. Um... This way. All right. Let me know how that sounds. Okay. So we went ahead and ordered some of the, um, my melody stuff that we got from inviting Chelsea to the campsite. All right. So I, I'm twinsies with my character now, but guess what? I'm changing her. <laughs> All right. We got the bed. We got the boots. We got the shirt, the dress, and the hood. This was, I'm so excited. Let's see. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. There's the dress. I like the dress. The shirt's cute too, but I'm gonna wear the dress. Gotta change my shoes. Oh my gosh, that's, oh my. Gosh, I'm dying. This is so cute. I'm in love with it. I'm in love. I'm in love and I don't care who knows. What does he say? I don't care who knows about it. I don't remember exactly what he says. Any shinies? Check a shiny, check a shiny. I have an incense going on. I did have a lore module at this. Um, yeah. Let me know how that sounds. I can't even, I don't know if that's making a difference in the headset. We're kind of getting the sound going here. Um, see, this is what I'm working with here. You see this? I'm at home. I have a gym. 
and a Pokestop in front of the house. So, you know, had a lore module there, but that ran out. I thought it was supposed to go on a little longer, but... Okay, so we could put the My Melody bed. I'm just wondering... I wonder if I should keep this as a living room or just set it as a bedroom because I do have the, the cute room in here. Hmm. See, I have a room. I mean, I guess I could always just change it back. It's not that big a deal. I think I am. I think I'm just going to put stuff in here for now. Let's get rid of this. Let's just put the bed. I think I'll just put it here for now, which I'm probably in the way. Oh, it's so cute. Um, why can't I put it there? Why can't I turn it? Well, that's weird. Look, oh, hold on. Let me, let me bring you in the middle. All right, let's see. Does this work? Okay. But it's not that cute that way. Hmm. <laughs> I could do this. Look. You know, because it makes total sense to do it this way instead of using the, the edit feature, right? All right, let's do it. No, yo. Does it go further against the wall? Okay. We'll do it that way for now, I guess. Me. I don't like how it looks. I'll just leave it like that. So technically, I could have just left the couch there. <laughs> That's okay. It's all good. I don't know how I want this room yet anyway. It's kind of like Mod Podge of all this all these different things here. So let's put some stuff in storage. You know me. Oh, you know what? Let me do this. Oh, can I hang it? I think I can. Because that totally makes sense. This room's going to be kind of messy for now. I was collecting wood yesterday. I need more. I wonder how many um, cherry blossoms, uh, cherry blossom petals I collected. Man, I really wish it was running to the 15th. Um, what kind of typewriter is that? Let's see what that looks like. Wow, if it was black, it looked like, no, not really, like the Eagle typewriter from The Shining. in the Overwatch Hotel, <laughs> Overlook Hotel. Um, I don't even know why I kept it. That was dumb. I should have just sold that. Long polka dot skirt. Who gave me that? Yeah, I don't need that. I need to get rid of all the clothes in my storage that I'm not ever going to wear. Okay. Put that away. And, oh, you know what? Since you're still in my pockets, let's just put you down here. Hopefully this sound, sounds all right. This will let me know. It's got my back. All right, I think we're good. We're good. All right, let's go get Chelsea in. She'll help me make her one more thing. No shiny. There are two Snivies in here. Oh, and a Froakie. Uh, that's all right. I don't need to catch you. And no shinies. No shinies. Look, she's so cute. See, and that's the thing when Gus was like, I don't get it. It's like, you know what? It makes me smile. It's like Christmas Day every day. Except when I don't know what to do with areas like this. <laughs> oh, where am I going? I need to go up here. Hi, KK. I did, um, for those of you that weren't here yesterday, 
I kind of missed the fishing tourney because I was waiting to stream and I was like, I'm not touching the game until I'm streaming, not touching it. And then I missed the fishing tourney. It's all good. All right, three days in a row. We're going to get Chelsea in here. Invite to Kemper. I got to get, and I really love the way the back looks. See the little Hello Kitty bow? So adorable. All right. All right, put it on here. Kind of a little hard with the plastic, but I have it in. Since I put my Sanrio cards in the plastic sleeves, and they're the hard plastic ones because I want them to stay nice. Pound cake. Miss Chelsea, can I help you? Pound cake. Are you really inviting me to stay at Inaba's campsite? Oh, uh, heck yes, I am. All right. I'm excited. Does she have lipstick on? That look weird. I'm still trying to figure out what she is. I feel like an idiot. Like, I should know this, right? Is it a deer? Alpaca? No, because she's not fuzzy. Are there alpacas in this game? I don't remember. Um... You know, while I'm here, although I could do it from my phone, let me see. I want to do some shopping and then I'm going to order five more things. So I had ordered the bed. Now I'm going to go in order because I don't want to lose, lose things and not know what I ordered. So let's go ahead and get the chair, the clock. Oh, the clock is so cute. That's two, and then the dresser, that's three. And that's four. I have the hood, I have the shirt, the dress, the boots. I need the... <sighs> I'm probably gonna end up just changing that whole room in the back from cute to my melody. Okay, I'm going to do the wall and the flooring together. So I'm just going to go ahead and get the rug and that'll make my five purchases that I can make. Um, I'll send this text to Gusto so he can respond. Uh, let's see here. Okay. All right. Now, while I'm here, let me check the Snivies real quick. So I can't forget tomorrow to get the wall and the flooring. And I'm, I'm trying to do it in this order so I don't forget what I have. Um, I should be good though. Now I hope there's not anything else I needed. Academic painting. Oh, oh, that's why. Nope, I'm good. I have everything here. Oh, I don't know if I have KK Mambo. Oh, well, I could always ask him for it. Look at the boots. I'm dying. This is so adorable. I could even put some like white tights on if I wanted. Possibilities are endless. It's such a cute outfit. <laughs> okay. When do a song he's singing? Okay, before we go to Chelsea, let's see what's in the shop since I'm already down here. What was this again? Outdoor picnic set. I think I might leave this here. All right. Man, I'm kind of sad. Like... I wanted to shoot down balloons and um, 
for DIYs, and then I wanted to catch petals. All right, let's get rid of some stuff in my pockets. I'm going to go ahead and sell the wasp, the nest, the skirt, the candle. You know what? I am really hungry, guys. I didn't... I ate... Something I shouldn't have ate. I ate a donut stick just to get me through the podcast without my stomach trying to interrupt me. Um, or gusto, for that matter. And then... After that, I still haven't eaten anything, and it's already 1 o'clock. But I am going to be making kimchi today for the first time, so I'm so excited about that. Okay, I'm going to pick this up. I don't I don't think I have that. And if I have it, um, maybe I'll check first. So it's the wardrobe. And then I don't think I have this color. Oh, sorry, Bam. The changing room. Okay, so let's check. Then I won't have to order it. Like if it's something that I've already purchased before and I could just order it anytime, then I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I have that color. Yep. Okay, so don't have to order that. And then the other one was the changing room. All right. Oh, yeah, I have it in brown. And then I think in pink. Yeah. I'm good, so I'm not going to waste money on that. Or bells. Shiny Snivy, Shiny Snivy. Nope. There's like four in the house, though. And that Froki that I didn't catch. Nope. None of them shiny. If I end on four, I'm fine with that. Oh, another one just spawned in. Um, but I like to catch extras because I think I still only caught one so far. And I'm still waiting for him to text me back. Uh, okay. Okay. I really feel like my stomach's going to try and start talking to you guys. All right. I don't need anything in here. One more stop. So stinking cute. Now I can't wait to see the clothes on the other one. Because it didn't show the clothes on the card. So I was just expecting to kind of see the furniture and stuff. So cute. All right, let's see what's in here. Although, I, I don't even know why I do this. Like, I have, like, the cutest clothes ever. I'm not going to take it off <laughs> until we get the next thing. I have these, and I, I thought they were so adorable, and I don't use them. Um, nope, don't like it. I don't think I have that one. But it's not like I ever wear them anyway, so what does it matter? I guess I'll take it. I love these glasses. I want some in real life, though. Ooh, I might change into those. Okay. I have these. And all right, that's it. I'll purchase that. But I'm not going to wear it. Nope. All right, let's go talk to Chelsea. Because I don't know about you guys. I'm super excited. All 
I'm thinking about getting rid of these here too. Like I used to love them and now I'm like, hmm, kind of indifferent with them now. And they'll kind of clear up some slots. I do like it right here. But I don't know. I don't know how I feel about them anymore. Like they've run their they've run their course now. I'm taking the scenic route, see if I can find a DIY on the beach. Oh, is that um oh nope nope. I think that's a Oh yeah, Roger Brook. Alright. Let's talk to you. Oh look! I know what that's going to be. Hold on. Let's talk. That leaf right there is going to be a walking, a walking leaf. I just know it. Maybe not. Was that something that fell out of the tree yesterday when I shook it and I didn't even know? I guess so. Yeah, because I think the... Um, cool, here's the DIY. I think the walking sticks come out in the summer. All right, let's see. DIY. And then I'll go around talking to everybody. I don't read this, sorry. What's up, Drew? What's going on? I already have the garden wa wagon. Just in time, Drew. I like to waste time in anticipation of going to talk to my Sanrio character in the campsite. <laughs> like build up that that suspense for myself oh i do have those dogs that that they had but how come i want mine to keep moving like that it seemed like hers were moving when we visited her island in our dream oh i'm such an idiot it's gonna stay like that now <laughs> whoops i didn't know that See if drinking a lot of water will keep my stomach from yelling. I plan on overstaying my welcome. Just kidding. Please know I'd never really do that pound cake. I can't wait to change that. I always realize after I get away like this that it's good to take some time alone to just think pound cake. God, I hate that. I didn't mean... That to sound like I don't like being social. I'm really grateful to have friends to talk to. It'd be great to take home a cutting board. Do I have a DIY for a cutting board? I guess I do. Oh, I didn't have it. <laughs> I know, I don't... Well, it's actually not the name that she gave me. It's, it's her... What is it like that little saying that they add at the end? But it always sounds like they're calling you uh, whatever name that is. But I don't like being called pound cake. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. Pound cake. Terrible. I actually... I had them saying things like, yeah, man, and, oh, what did I have them saying? The shizzle and, like, weird stuff. At the end. Yo. Until, like, I don't feel creative anymore, because that was totally creative, but you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so I need some iron. And, you know, all the stuff that I've been trying to replenish here. Mm, right here. Move the pockets and then I have a lot of clay. Oh, let me see how many petals I have. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75. That's not enough. I needed like 5,000. Just kidding. I would have if I had the opportunity. <laughs> I love cherry blossoms. Gotta earn those bells, pound cake. <laughs> Stop it, Drew. Stop. Let's not encourage her. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. All 
All right. Now, let me put some stuff away. I wonder if it, I never noticed if the things that you make them when they're visiting you in the campsite, if they come with them in their houses. I don't think I've ever noticed. Um, I'll put that in storage. All right, let's go see her again. All right, now we're going to have her talk to somebody about moving. What's her name that I keep forgetting her name? I even look at her name and I'm like, how do I keep forgetting that? It's really not that hard to remember. But let, let's look up her name. Annalise, why can't I remember that name? All right, so I'm going to have her move out and then that's where she's going to live up there. I don't know if I like that area that I have set up up there. Like, I, I want to do something different to it, and I don't know what. I'll figure it out. And I could always move her house. Hmm. I have an idea what to do with the campsite, too. Oh, I haven't been checking my snivies. And I'll totally forget if I'm not reminded. I told you, it's going to take a back burner. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to procrastinate. I'm excited. You know, it's one of those things that you're always, like, looking forward to. And then you're like, yeah, but once it comes, then, you know, that anticipation's gone. So I like taking my time, you know, trying to get them. Who am I kidding? Three days is too long to have to wait. All right. Oh, could it be? Did you make the cutting board? It's like a lot of snipes in the house. I've had folks on this island make pieces for me, and all of them have turned out to be high quality so far. You mean people? I've been making them all. What are you talking about? I'm so excited to have a cutting board from here. As thanks, please take a stellar jumpsuit. I wonder which one that one was. I don't remember. Oh, she's listening to Bubblegum KK. Um, have souvenirs from here, but I'm hoping to collect even more. On top of collecting souvenirs, I want to learn all there is to know about this island pound cake. <laughs> if only I could stay here forever. You can! We're going to kick out Annalise now that I finally remember her name. <laughs> so nice to have a break from the usual chores. Hey, why aren't you asking me? Okay. Oh, <gasps> uh, yeah. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Sorry to keep you waiting. I checked with resident services, but the news wasn't good. There's no room for any new homes to be built right now, and the homes already standing are all occupied. Tan trying to keep Chelsea hostage. <laughs> I am. I am. All right. It's worth a shot. Imagine I, I click the wrong button. Uh, yup. Annalise. I finally remember her name. Quit calling me that. I'm a little too excited. You have no idea. I've wanted this character forever. All right. I gotta concentrate. I don't want to click the wrong button and then I'll be upset. <laughs> no, be pushy. Totally be pushy. I'm, I'm okay with it. Your instinct was right. I asked Aunt Annalise. And Annalise really was planning to move. When I explained my situation, she agreed to move up her moving plans. Thanks so much for encouraging me. I can't wait to be a part of the community here. Pound cake. <laughs> I can't wait to change your saying, too. Oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Any shinies? Come on, let's, let's get a shiny now, too. I have quite a few in the house. Let's see. Let's see. All right, see? That's how many are in the house. And I haven't been catching them, though, so they could just be, like, accumulating here. All right. Still no shinies. You guys aren't bringing me luck. What's up with that? 
Uh, don't say menudo, Augusto. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm so hungry. And menudo sounds amazing. All right, now let's go ahead and see who is crafting. She's crafting. Augusto talking about menudo. Thanks, yo. Oh, look. First try. That goes in my mouth. A peach umbrella. I think I have that already. Yeah, I figured. Well, you're not wrong, Meringue. I feel like since the straw missed my mouth, I have like water. Or my face is wet. I haven't been fishing in a long time. Or shaking fruits from trees. I haven't been doing it. I have not watered my flowers because I'm trying to get rid of flowers. I guess I could water my blue roses. All right, so we did that. Wow, we got a lot done because first house we went into. Um, you know what? I should do this. No more cherry blossoms. I'm so sad. I love cherry blossoms. Okay, see? I don't think I've done this on a stream. But this is exactly why. Exactly why I put 10,000 bells. Black, black roses. In my garden. I used to always sing that on New Leaf when I'd grow my black roses. And actually, I have this special fondness with the blue roses because there was this story that I read way back in the day called The Glass Menagerie. And she had um, like a disease that was called pl pleurosis. And they always used to always say, think she was saying blue roses. I know. Uh, but that's why I'm always like, blue roses. So that's why that's always kind of resonated with me for a whole different reason. And they are also extremely rare. So let's see. Ten see? So I put 10,000 bells in there and I get 30. So made an extra 20 on each tree. See, Gusto, here are my black roses in my garden. To keep on carrot, you got to water it. Okay, so this is where she, let me show you. Let me show you. This is where Chelsea's gonna move in. So if we go in here now and see this, I need to get rid of these flowers right here and create a walkway. She's going to be my neighbor. Okay. I'll, I'll make it cool up here. Um, let's do this. Let's go ahead and see. Annalise should be in boxes. And then the lot will, the plot will be empty tomorrow. And then, so the day after tomorrow, we'll get Chelsea in. Bye, Annalise. Oh, it's you, Nutmeg. Or Nutmeg. Oh, it's you. Nutmeg, I haven't told you, have I? There's no way to sugarcoat this, so I'll give it to you straight. I think I can handle it. I'm moving off the island tomorrow. I'm glad to have met you, and I will not forget you. Thank you for everything that you've done. Are you trying to make me feel guilty? She didn't have a personality. I wanted a personality, and it, was just, it wasn't there, you know? Just that connection just it wasn't there. Annalise, I'm sorry. But I'm excited. So this is where I had, um, I have Chrissy here and I had Francine here. Wait, Chrissy's a pink one, right? Pink bunny and then the blue bunny here. And then I had like, you know, all this side was all like blue stuff. I had the um, light up palm tree on this side. All this stuff was pink stuff. But I really, really, really want to do something different. I 
just don't know what. And then I need to move somebody back up here. I don't know whose house I'll move. I wonder if I can move somebody when someone's in the process of moving. If I can move a house overnight. I don't see why I couldn't. I don't know if I should move Eric's house. <gasps> oh, praying mantis. <gasps> you know what that means? That means my favorite orchid mantis is back. I love orchid mantises. Okay, oops, don't scare it. I want them in real life too. I, it's crazy though. Why the long face? Because were you talking about Annalise? Um, it's crazy though. I used to pick up like all sorts of bugs when I was little. And I don't know, like even teens and stuff. Um, I used to pick up praying mantises all the time. And I didn't realize that they bite, but I had never been bitten by one. Yeah, she has a, a horse face. Well, she's a horse, <laughs> of course. Um, I remember Gusto and I were at, at Toys R Us one time. And there were these two girls like kind of like yelling and screaming because there was a big old praying mantis on their car. I don't know if you remember this story, Gusto. And they didn't, they didn't want to get into their car because there was a big old praying mantis there. And I think, it, I don't know if it was on the door or on the top. I don't even remember. It had to have been on the door because this was so long ago. Um, and I'm like all excited. I'm like, what a praying mantis. Oh my God, so cool. So I go over there and I just take it off the car. And um, they're freaking out. So they were all happy because they were able to leave. But now... I'm the person that is like, oh my God, there's a praying mantis. Because <laughs> now like after doing all these res this research on them and I'm like, oh crap, I didn't know all that. There's something about this time of day. I always seem to get a wee bit sleepy. Oh my, what was I saying? But I do still want orchid mantises. They're so beautiful. If you ever see them, there's some videos of them as like little, starting off as tiny babies. Dang, guys, I really don't know what to do with this area. Okay, so let me let you know my plans. I want to create a library, and I think I might put it here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I think. This might even be the Mario area. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I hate when I'm stumped like that. And I do want to do a lot more terraforming. Make it look real cool. Get rid of a lot of this stuff. I have blue roses at Raymond's house. But a lot of miscellaneous crap too. All these flowers I need to get rid of. Maybe I'll build him like a little study outside. Right here. I don't know don't know what to do with certain areas and then when we visited that one island yesterday in my dream there were like a lot of little like nooks and crannies and little head hidden areas and I kind of like that all right so you know the drill you know the drill gotta earn those bells pound cake so, um, oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, now I can't combine that. Well, I don't want to work on anything new right now. Oh, so now we know which way the wind's blowing. And let's see. 07, so it took three minutes for it to get over here. Ugh, too many flowers. I have Mario stuff all over. And then by the time I get everything done, I'm going to want to change other areas. I just know it. 
What's going on? What's up, Zeke? Bells. Bells, bells, bells. So if the wind's blowing from that area. Okay, see, I was thinking about doing a, a whole Mario theme right here. And just maybe have it like, maybe just align with a mushroom and then jumping on the bricks and all that stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure this out. I love the ladybugs too, but I remember catching, uh, catching them and then making, having CJ make me, um, a model or not CJ, the other one. And it was so ugly <laughs> or maybe I didn't. It was the firefly that was really ugly. I just got rid of it. All right. Let's see what we got. It's 209. We're going to have a balloon that's going to come over here any second. Within the minute, it should pop up up here. I like the... I like all of the blue flowers. Mm. And I really don't know how, how or where to put these beds where they make sense. Maybe I could put it at the top of a terraform. Maybe. If you guys have any ideas, just let me know. All right, let's see. What time is it? We should have a balloon coming over. And then, to be quite honest, I think I'm done. I didn't have to talk to every single person, which I still kind of talk to everybody. I hear it. I hear it. Yeah, I hear it. I have to make sure. My gosh, where is it? There it is. Oh, oh. I would have hit it. would have fell back in the water. I would have been really upset. Oh, I missed it. Sometimes that depth perception is like, where is it? I don't need bells. Oh, that's so snobby, huh? I don't need bells. All right, what else can we do? Anything else? Because I don't want to do anything too major. So this one, the way I did it here, looks cool. Maybe, but maybe if I do something similar to this little area right here and then put the rose bed at the top. Look, see, there's my my little orchid mantis. Isn't she cute? It cute. That is actually a female. You could tell the difference between the male and the female mantises because that... Uh, Abdomen part is thicker for females. And the, yeah, the females are actually much bigger than the the males. Same thing with the walking sticks. And it, it's like significantly a, a significant difference. See, this part's just driving me crazy. Although that blue and yellow looks really pretty. See the blue pansies? I'm telling you, I like all the blue flowers. Then again, blue is like one of my favorite colors, so. I'm just gonna clean up a little bit right here and get rid of these roses. See, I have a hard time getting rid of flowers because then I'm like, uh, then I'm going to have to worry about trying to get them again. If I could at least keep one of everything and then it turns into a disaster, but I'm just going to get rid of them because I have some yellows up there. So just throw these away. All right. Well, I cleaned that area. That looks much better. I 
I might have a walkway of flowers. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a walkway of flowers for him. I know he... Oh, I thought you meant Zion. <laughs> the other Z. The other one. All right, I'm happy. I did some cleaning there. Let me catch this bee. I haven't made, um, I haven't made a piece with a bee. Uh, made peace with bees. Oh, I gotta tell you guys a story real quick though. Talking about making peace with bees. So Zion had a, a golf tournament. And um, let's check on Bam. Story time with Tauntaun. So um, <laughs> it was hot outside. It was bright. And I think I was like going like this, kind of block the sun. And I was wearing a sleeveless shirt or a tank top or something. And wait, did you get to hang out with your buddy Jessica the other day? Yo, see, yo, it seems to be that. Uh... Okay, and then so I put my my hand down, and then I felt this like pinch in my armpit, and I go. <gasps> so I kept my arm down, and I go. Cause no, because we're in the middle of a you know, a golf tournament. You're not supposed to be yelling. So it was actually this arm. So I put my arm down and I was like, so there's a bee in my armpit. I'm going to lift up my arm right now. And you're going to make sure to get the bee away from my armpit. It already stung me. <laughs> so I lifted up my arm and then he said it was like all slow motion that you see the bee fall. And then the stinger like, rip out of its body because the stinger's in my armpit and the bee just fell and died and it was like this like crazy scene that I didn't get to see because I didn't want to look <laughs> and um I remember I put my arm down and I was like dude my armpit's burning <laughs> it hurts like can you get this stinger out um so anyway yeah, he got the stinger out and it was, um, it hurt really bad for a little bit. I had never been stung by a bee before. I've been stung by a wasp, but not a bee. And, um, it hurt really bad for, I don't know, probably seemed longer, you know, much longer than it really was. And then it just went away. Then I felt absolutely nothing after that. So we do now know that I'm not allergic to bees. Thank God, I'm allergic to everything else. Armpit bees are the worst. <laughs> of all the places, you know, lift my arm up. And I'm like, you've got to be joking. And I had seen other, like, moms and stuff, like, freaking out because they had umbrellas and the bees were going under the umbrellas. And nope, not the case in my, my situation. I was the only one stung, too. Because, of course... I decided to put my arm down while not knowing there was one there. Fun times. Fun times. Of course that would happen to me with my luck. Not the best luck, I swear. Alright, I'm just going to kind of clean this area up here. Look how much better. Like, I should have be doing these things regularly, but... These are like the extra chores, you know, you don't want to do. I don't even think I like all this stuff here anymore. This was like a little community pool for those that lived up here. Not preferential treatment by any means, but just figured it'd be cool. Cool to have it there. I mean, I can also make this area. Um, I don't know, like a little sitting area. And maybe not even put a house up here. So that way if they want to come up here and play the switch. It's here. Not that you can really get into that chair or anything. I don't know. House. House or sitting area. Like recreational kind of. I could even put like a little gym up here. Or I could do that in other areas too. 
Oh, boy. Maybe, you know what I think I'll do? I'll move Meringue up here. I think I will. Let me go talk to him. Let's go talk to Gusto's BFF. Sorry, these drive me crazy. And then throughout the day, like maybe later on today after I make the kimchi, I'll work on getting rid of some of these flowers. Oh, I do have a ladybug. Yeah, it's weird. Looks weird. Oh, no, not. Why am I going to Meringue's house? Checking his 90s. No exercising for you. We have work to do. I could hear the little bells on Isabel's. Her little bun thing. Okay. I think I want Meringue to move. Should I move Judy? You know what? Such a tough decision. Who do I want to move? Gosh, I was so determined to just move Meringue. But I think that would be a cool house uh, area for Judy. And then maybe put, I could put the library or, okay. Hmm. Okay, I need to build a library and then I want to build the Mario area. And the library. Ah, uh, ah, uh, someone just tell me, Meringue or Judy? Which one should I move up there? Hmm, I'm moving Judy. For some reason, I still think I should have gone with Meringue, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, Drew, now you say something. <laughs> I can't change my mind now. Judy is mean. She's not mean. She's been so nice to me. And she looks like cotton candy. You just want to take a bite out of her. Oh, so true story. Winston, our dog. I don't even know where he is. Winston! He's probably outside. So I pretend to eat him, and he barks at me. Yeah, man, I should have moved Meringue, but that's okay. I can always shift things around again. He has to be outside. Winston! But he's big. Oh, there he is. There he is. Let's see. Come here, babe. Come here. Come here. Come here. No, no, no. Not under there. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You guys say hi. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come here. Winston, come here. Come here, baby. Here. Oh, my God. Come here. Come on. Come on, Mama. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug, my baby. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Can you see this face? Can you see this face? Oh, you see the baby. This is our Winston. This is our Winston. This is our Winston. Our Winston. Mm -hmm. Let me eat your face. 
No? <laughs> okay, good job. <laughs> Let's see. Here, hold on. Mmm. No, no. He's not doing it now. Of course you're not doing it now. Huh. Yeah, well, he normally barks at me eating poor Winston and trapping bees in the armpits. Don, you're something else. <laughs> Don't trust the sweet ones. Hey, wait a minute. That kind of went along with what you're saying now. Why did he run away? I know. But Winston's so cute. Like, you want to just, like, eat him. I don't know. <laughs> All right. We're going to have Judy moved over. Should have been Meringue. <laughs> oh, well. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Closing it out. I think that's it. Oh, gosh. See, I even have this area. Ugh. The dilemma of what to do with areas. All right. That's all right. We're going to go ahead and close out. Oh, I didn't know you could sit in there this whole time. What? All right. Anyway. All right, guys. Let's see if I can catch some shiny snivies. I need to get moving. But I also got to make some kimchi. I'm so excited. And I actually got to eat something. I'm starving. So I'll catch y'all later. Deuces.